Good afternoon, Mike. Mike Burton Caravans, just doing the handover videos for your Ace Globe Trotter. Um, so we'll start down the rear of the caravan, cassette toilet and flush water. So drop down, face here, uh, fill with cold, uh, fresh water in here and add your pink fragrant liquid as per the instructions on the chemical bottle into there and key lock to lock it. Down here on the cassette, you squeeze vertical the orange handle there, pull the cassette all the way out, pull the spout through 90 degrees, unscrew the cap and empty the contents, refill with blue chemical through here, screw the cap back on, back through 90 degrees and into position. And again, key lock to fix that. I'll show you the motor mover when yeah, of course, you're not collecting the caravan, are you? Um, I'll get the driver to show you how the motor mover works when we put in, bring it to the compound on Monday, OK? Leisure battery fitted to the caravan. Mains 240 volt connected into the caravan there. Acrol water pump connected. There is a little blue lever here. Squeeze the, the blue lever and just wiggle that out. And then back in again till the lever clicks in underneath that's nice and straightforward we've just put a temporary gas bottle on just to get you up and running and that's connected to the regulator there there you can see the brass thread screwed onto that there okay barbecue point uh, under the front seat locker access panel again with key locks 240 volt for the extension for the awnings. Awning light above the door, operated from inside, just there. Stepping inside the caravan, lifted the cushions up on the front right hand seat. And if I drop down the front door here, so what we have is mains 240 volt trips here. And they are numbered underneath MC B1, B2, B3. And we have a range of 12 volt fuses numbered from 1 to 13. Okay, they're just under these covers there. Also, we've got battery leisure charging going on at the moment, heating and hot water illuminated. And this black button here, system shut down, press the button down and it kills the caravan's power. Press it again and uh, it uh, brings the power back into the caravan. On the drop down door, there is the explanation for what the 12 volt fuses are protecting. So the numbers there, one to 13 and what they're covering. And then moving across from here, also what the mains 240 volts are protecting as well. Also, we have this little fella here, this yellow uh, lever down in the horizontal position at the moment. That's for normal operation. Winter drain down, frost protection, lift that to vertical, leave it vertical, you can hear it now dumping the water out of the caravan. But I've just flicked it back down again just to carry on with this video. So that's an important one for the winter. So, above the door is the swift command. Press the button there, illuminates where we are. We've got the water pump here so which is illuminated in blue that means the water pumps on bringing water into the caravan you can have the awning light on yeah lighting that puts that brings power into all the lighting system on the caravan then you individually put the switches on to um, put the uh, lights on in the caravan first and foremost you need to bring power into the caravan which is the green one on the right hand side if you want the radio one you can go into audio uh, mode is off at the moment you can put it to on you can tune you can scan and preset the, the uh, buttons there so that's nice and handy there adjacent to that is the Truma heating system very straightforward so we've got the black dial here at the bottom press the black dial there we go we've got the caravan uh, motorhome flashing okay press it again and it's on 30 degrees maximum temperature turn the dial and you can go all the way down to lower the temperature or increase the temperature press it again scroll it round one pitch then the hot water symbol is now flashing press it again we're on hot we can go to eco or off you can go on to boost 
So when you arrive somewhere and you want hot water quickly, put it on to boost, but just beware if you do that, it will override the, the heating and you'll get hot water and no heating. So if you want them both, I, su I suggest that you go backwards, press that onto there. Just remain it on hot unless you just want hot water. Press it again, turn the dial, and we've got a gas canister flashing and a electrical symbol. Press it again. We've got electric two or electric one. Some sites have got 16 amps of power, some have got 10, and you'll need to just um, switch between the two. Hopefully you can get onto two uh, with a bit more power in the caravan, or you might have to drop down to one. If you turn it then, you can have a mixture of electricity and gas, and it does it itself. And electricity and gas settings, one, again, depends on the power on the caravan side. You can then just turn it again and go onto gas, or go all the way back around to electric two, because we've got plenty here on site, and away we go. You can turn it onto fan, and you can have the fan on high or eco to blow the hot air through the caravan. Or in the summertime, you can press it and just have the fan on to try and circulate some air through the caravan, which is quite helpful. So just moving on to the taps, normal mixer taps. We've got the hot water been on about 20 minutes now. Wow, that's starting to come through really warm. So that's all good. We've got the hob. Um, and the grill etc on the oven one ignition does all so if you want to illuminate uh, ignite a ring press the dial turn the dial press and hold for four or five seconds and it just ignites there we go so typically all those working absolutely fine there we go that's all three lit that's perfect and the same with the grill working as it should do. There we go, and the oven's all on too. Dometic fridge, various settings here we can go on. So we're pressing the arrow button here. So first and foremost, this is power on, power off. Uh, we're on automatic at the moment, electric. If it fails on electric, the electric trips out, it'll go on to gas, or you can go manually onto vehicle battery. It's alarming at the moment because we're not connected to a, a vehicle. Okay, or you can go on to gas, purely electric or automatic. And then if you want a temperature, you can increase the temperature of the fridge as it is there. Lights are all on and working. And the cool box, yeah, I can feel like it's starting to freeze up, so that's all working fine. Microwave is on and working. All the lighting on and working as it should. Electric flush on the cassette toilet. Toilet swivels. And then there's a slider valve here which empties the contents into the cassette below. There we go, hot water coming out the tap, so I'm more than happy with that. I'm not going to turn the shower on because it's all been clean and valeted and it's all lovely in there. All the equipment's still under the bed, waste master tanks there, aqua rolls in the front locker, all the lighting on. All really nice and um, looking forward to uh, delivering to this, uh, this caravan to you on Monday. Thank you.